Well, Queen Six was the first to tell you about this huge bust that Beaverton police led involving thousands of stolen catalytic converters. So today we're going beyond the headlines talking to the district attorney in Washington County about how these crimes impact people and their families and why they're so important not to ignore. They need to be prosecuted. But Jenny is standing by with more on this story. Jeff, yeah, the Beaverton police yesterday during that press conference said all of their hard work, all of the man hours that went into that nearly year long investigation, it would have been pointless if the DA, the Washington County DA, did not make these crimes a priority to prosecute. We are living right now in a time when um, crime is out of control. And you can look at the crime statistics uh, or you can just walk down the street and live in this community and we all know and we see it. We sat down with Washington County District Attorney Kevin Barton and discussed why his office makes it a priority to prosecute what they call quality of life crimes, such as car and property theft, retail theft and assault, crimes that have become rampant in our area. I'm mad uh, and I, I feel like I should say that. Um, I'm, I'm mad and I'm upset. Uh, and um, I take it really personally because I live here too. And you know, the, my neighbors, my the people that are at the soccer games that I'm you know at for my kids, um, the the stores that I visit, these people all tell me about how um, they're being being impacted by these crimes. We've broken down the number of criminal misdemeanor cases filed by county in 2021. In Washington County, Barton's office filed just over 4,000. In Clackamas County, about 3,100 were filed. And in Multnomah County, Oregon's largest county, less than 3,000 criminal misdemeanor cases were filed. Just this week, Beaverton police announced a big bust in what they say is a catalytic converter theft ring. After a nearly year-long investigation, police revealed they've taken down an operation of 14 people they say were trafficking stolen catalytic converters for at least a year and a half. It was going to take some law enforcement agency to put their foot down and say we're done, we're done with this. I can't tell you the number of times we've heard criminals say, why did I do this in Washington County? Another reason Barton's office says that they make these types of crimes a priority to prosecute says they impact, dis, there's a disproportionate impact of these crimes on historically marginalized groups and people who are low income. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin Six News.